For a long time, Yamantau Mountain has attracted the attention of all of Russia and abroad. Journalists and local historians are trying to bring to light the most plausible theory of the secret construction in this mountain. How it all began. In the 60s of the last century, professionals from various fields began to flock to this area, geologists, designers, builders. Then, Yamantau gained the glory of the mountain, on which a super-secret military facility is being built. Many myths and legends have already been born about this secret construction site of the century. Mount Yamantau is located in the South Urals, in the Belaretsky district of the Republic of Buskaria. The closed city of Mysiria, adjacent to the mountain, according to Western analysts, is one of the ten most inaccessible and mysterious places on the planet. Shoveling a bunch of facts and evidence, comparing satellite imagery with cadastral maps and old Soviet ones. Try to objectively understand. Find out where this line is between myths and reality. And at the very end of this video we give some evidence of eyewitnesses of this construction and draw conclusions. I ask you to carefully trace the entire logical chain of our conclusions, from the beginning to the very end of this video. And only then draw conclusions in the comments. And I ask you to immediately subscribe to the channel with a button under the video, so as not to miss new videos in the future. And we will start. The public learned about Mount Yamantau in 1996, after publishing an article in the New York Times about a secret military base. Located inside one of the largest Ural Mountains. According to rumors, in the Rock, Massachusetts there is a giant bunker in which after the start of a nuclear war the government and the president of the Russian Federation will be placed. The author of the article argued that the construction was of a very large scale and extremely secret nature, and partially. It was financed from subsidized funds allocated to the Russian government in the early 90s, as they say, to support the pants. The American journalist was surprised by the fact that the construction was launched at the time of the most severe economic crisis that hit the Russian economy, there was not enough money for basic social obligations, but despite all the difficulties, the funds allocated for the construction of a secret facility in the required amount. According to published information, the secret complex was located in the bowels of Mount Yamantau, located in the Belaretsky district, Republic of Bashkortostan, and was exclusively military in nature. In a short time, military builders cut through the inside of the mountain, as well as in the surrounding underground space, a real hive. Which included several underground floors, a narrow gauge railway line and even its own highway. The author also mentioned that the official sources of the American newspaper in the State Duma of the Russian Federation refused to comment on anything. The purpose and purpose of this object, referring to some top secret program. Comparing all the facts and conjectures, the American journalist summed up the essence of his publication to the fact that the Russians are again preparing for the Cold War. Which they plan to unleash in the very near future, and the facility in Mount Yamantau will be used by top officials of the state. If the degree of tension warms up the conflict before the exchange of nuclear strikes. Later, based on this article, several myths related to Yamantau were developed. For example, the most popular were rumors that as if inside the mountain there is a kind of arc for the golden billion, where, with the onset of major disasters, the powers that be will hide. And with the coming to power of V, V, Putin's object began to be called his personal bunker. The fact that, that none of the mere mortals know the true purpose of the object, since access to the mountain is blocked by security forces. And next to the mountain there is Zotomysharia, closed city. The territory outside the Zoto perimeter belongs to the South Ural Reserve, the entrance to which is strictly prohibited under the pretext of preserving and recreation of rare species of plants and animals, although this circumstance is quite a typical task of such institutions. Nevertheless, individual citizens manage to illegally get to the mountain and even climb to its top. Here are photos of one of the tourists Oleg Chagadeyev. Climbing to the top of the plateau, he found there the remains of structures, a lot of technical trash, spare parts from the drill. Some kind of bath hollowed out right in the mountain. Going down the mountain, Chegodev discovered an abandoned barracks. 
I went inside and took some pictures. However, assessing the location conditions of Mount Yamantau and the logistics infrastructure in its vicinity, the myth is that if introduced, martial law government facility no. One will be located here, it seems rather strange. First you need to decide that it is unlikely that any object will be built, moreover, it doesn't matter if it is a refuge or a command center. It can occur directly in the mountain itself that is in Iraq, Massachusetts. It would be logical to assume that, by analogy to similar, but more popular megafortifications, the mountain functions as a kind of screen. While the building itself is located under the mountain, in connection with this, the calculations of the dimensions of the hidden habitable camera are in no way connected with the total volume of Yamantau, whereas in some sources, a direct parallel is drawn between the volume of the rock Massachusetts and the estimated dimensions of the hopper. According to the myth of the government bunker at a time when the country will be engulfed by the chaos of war or the worst will be covered. Nuclear ash from somewhere in the bowels of Yamantau, the government of the Russian Federation will communicate with the remaining defense forces, as well as civilian enterprises. However, this version, taking into account several circumstances, can hardly be considered objective. Firstly, in the current military conflict, the forces of our overseas partners, which are still considered strategic enemy, able to destroy the bunker hidden even by such a massive mountain as Yamantau. According to some estimates, a few point strikes by warheads with a force of 100 kilotons will be enough to break through the rock Massachusetts and collapse the internal tunnel network, which will lead to the impossibility of operating such an object and will absolutely jeopardize life of the first persons of the state. If we consider the actions of the Western coalition on the example of Afghanistan, where the followers of the terrorist Organizations take refuge in complex, but less technological bunkers located in the bowels of the mountains, it becomes obvious that the bunker in the Rock, Massachusetts does not guarantee the safety of life of its inhabitants. For example, the SA force during an operation against terrorists from the ISIS organization banned in Russia, held in Afghanistan near the province of Nangarhar, used the most powerful non-nuclear bomb, which is in service in the American army. The result of the operation was the complete destruction of the developed network of underground utilities in one of the mountains. After a ton projectile hit, an explosion from which is estimated at 11 tons of CNT equivalent, the object was destroyed. Secondly, the removal of the center from Yamantau will not allow the first person of the state to urgently get inside the shelter. Least. It will take two hours to fly from Moscow to the southern Urals, and the closest president will be able to accept the presidency. To the object the airport in the city of Magnitogorsk from which it will be necessary to fly by helicopter for another 20-30 minutes. In conditions. When it becomes known of a sudden. Nuclear strike in half an hour to evacuate the president across half the country. It seems like a not entirely rational idea. Even Stalinist bid, in case the Germans occupied Moscow, was located in Samara, which is much closer to the center than Yamantau. In addition, you need to understand that the asylum of the first persons of the state must be secret, and not so popular that even in an American newspaper they publish a note about a secret refuge. After all, what's the point in such a bunker? If in case of conflict this object will become one of the first and most important goals of our overseas partners. Thirdly, the location of the mountain can hardly be called successful in terms of organizing Massachusetts evacuation. Since if emergency measures are started. In addition to the president, many other specialists must enter the bunker along with their loved ones. Delivery by air is unlikely to be. Be massive, so most will have to proceed to the shelter by land transport. And again we encounter insoluble difficulties. The territory of Yamantau can be reached only by a single two-lane road, periodically turning into serpentine. I think it is not necessary to explain once again that in the case of a sharp increase in road traffic, this section of the route will simply be blocked by cars due to traffic congestion and the organization of the delivery of valuable specialists will be in jeopardy. 
As for the railway branch, the line is currently not functioning and launching it urgently. It will be quite problematic, since in some of its sections there are no rails, it is not clear whether this condition is. Lines of the next strategic trick, as someone from the locals finally fidgeted after handing over a section of the railway to the reception center for ferrous metals. Of course, maybe there is some kind of alternative railway branch to a secret object, but since about similar elements of the transport infrastructure is not known, then refer to this option as a way to solve the transport issue should not be. So what is the true purpose and purpose of the object near Yamantau? Of course, we want to know the exact answer, but obviously, that the President of Russia is unlikely to take refuge here. However, there are also enough alternative versions, for example, there is an assumption that this facility is used as one of the centers for the operational management of the automatic launch system of nuclear missiles. In the framework of the project of the retaliatory strike perimeter, dead hand, the fact that this object could be part of a secret program. Evidence of the fact that near the mountain until 1994 the military unit was located, since on its territory curious tourists could discover some flooded missile silos. Today, only a few buildings remain from the military unit. In addition to messages from tourists on the internet in various forums and in groups, social networks sometimes slip messages on behalf of soldiers who once served near a secret mountain. In their posts, former servicemen share information on the participation in the construction of certain objects that they thought were to the launch pits. According to another version, a secret research institute or a platform for long-term storage of something explosive is located under the mountain. In this case, the mountain in this case is a kind of protective shield and in the event of an emergency, the massive Yamantau will absorb the shockwave around the mountain bunker. There are a lot of rumors, and even residents of nearby settlements really don't know what kind of objects since the Cold War are being built in the mountains. At the beginning of the new, 21st century, Russian President Vladimir Putin became a frequent guest at the South Ural Ski Resort Abzakova, located about 60 km from Magnitogorsk. Neither Putin himself nor his aides were able to explain to the public why the head of state chose this place. Officially, Putin liked to ski there. But there is an unofficial version. So, the president came to control the completion of the construction of a secret underground city located in the highest mountain of South Ural. Massif Yamanta, in translation from Bashkir, Bad Head, Height, M. According to unconfirmed information, the city in the mountain is designed for the simultaneous residence of 300,000 people in it. For example, 400,000 people live in Magnitogorsk. In the underground complex, which is divided into the so-called houses. All the necessary infrastructure has been created. Communications have been summed up, life support systems have been established. All conditions are created so that at least six months people can be in this. Underground city, without going to the surface, says an eyewitness. According to another witness, the complex consists of a system of mines. With a diameter of 30 meters and a total length of about 500 km. The information is very contradictory. Could, for example, underground infrastructure be located at a depth of more than a thousand meters? Of course they can. The deepest mines in the world are in South Africa. Their depth is from 3.5 to 4,000 meters deep. Gold is mined there and the heat reaches 60 C. There are many mines in Russia, from a depth of 1,002 meters. Can underground infrastructure be as big as the Kingdom of Liechtenstein? So this is almost the area of, the town of Mysaria, adjacent to the mountain. Even Liechtenstein is slightly smaller. Liechtenstein 160 square kilometers, and Mysaria 220. Here is the information with photos of the site of cavers. To whom it is interesting to read and I will show photos. It shows some kind of abandoned entrance to the mountain and next to it is a functioning checkpoint with the military. Why it is abandoned but is guarded it is not clear. They could just fill it with stones and not spend money and effort on guarding. 
Apparently, you can see do this. Why is it needed? Here is the testimony of a man who lived in the Yamantau mountain region for quite some time. He sent extremely interesting data about the object under construction, but asked not to publish its contact information. Further, I quote his story without abbreviations. An object called Site 3 is designed and built by the Office of Construction 30, Min. Defense, US-30 is one of the largest construction organizations in the world. The structure of this organization includes approximately 1000 construction and installation departments. In the city of Mysaria, renamed Ballaret-16, there are actually three SMAS under the numbers 712, 728, 830. The object itself consists of several of our points, Yusha Station, Tatli, Mysaria, respectively, a Site 1. The complex itself has a huge number of names, in 1979 it was Yufa-105, then until 1999. Belaretsk-16. Also there are the names of Picta Station, Salnikni Village, and many others. The population of Mysaria is about 40,000 people. The complex itself is a system of mines with a diameter of 30 meters and a total length of about 500 km. The mines are distributed over sections of a total of eight of them. There is an enrichment factory, concrete production. Nobody working there knows. What is this complex for? Many wonder, but the most accessible explanation is really a government complex. Which is located almost in the center of strategically important objects for Russia, Kartali, Yuznaralsk, Orsk, Chalyabinsk, Snezinsk. According to conversations of geologists from water exploration, it can be judged that with the global covering of this area with thermonuclear charges, the water in the complex will remain clean for over 300 years. Now the object is actually mothballed. And all builders work on a rotational basis in the construction of various civilian facilities in Russia. But since 2005, the conservation begins, and the continuation of construction, for unknown purposes. Look at what is visible on the public cadastral map of Russia. The territory of the Intermountain is classified. When you hover over the map, the map doesn't give out any information at all. The mountain itself is opposite. It gives information about the territory. A third of a million square meters from someone in a long-term lease are purchased. What would it mean? This moment may indirectly confirm the assertion of those who insist that the mountain is mining Uranus. They bought the entire mountain and the land around it for mining and calmly mine. But this refutes the fact that in our modern Russia, as well as throughout the world, the mining of Uranus is not secret. Type the request in the hull and you will see all the complete information. Who is mining, where is mining, in what way and how much per year. Like any other mineral. Why secret uranium mining precisely in Mount Yamantai is not clear. An interesting story is the town of Mezagori, which is in official access. I'll tell you briefly. In the middle of the 18th century, at the foot of Dunansugan Mountain, the village of Ilms appeared, later renamed Tatli and has 30 yards, 219 people. Residents were engaged in flight and cattle breeding. In 1957-58, geologists appeared on the carts near the Mount of Iremel in the settlement near the Angry Mountain. Surprised locals helped to dig pits, look for faults. And judging by this modern map there are a lot of faults. Huge underground cavities. Then, since 1974, several hydrogeological lots have been compiling maps, aerial surveys, studying rocks, drilling wells. In June 1978, the resolutions of the Central Committee of the Sisu and Sovmin of the Usar announced the formation of the South Ural Reserve and the beginning of construction. In the Southern Urals a unique facility. In 1979, by order of the Minister of Transport construction for these purposes was established. Construction management no. 30. The first landing in January 1979 arrived from Primory. Experienced leaders flew from Moscow, led by A. M. Dudarev, whose name is now one of the streets of the city. 
Then the best miners and builders from all over the country began to arrive, from the Far East to Belarus, Bamasi, builders of hydroelectric power stations, tunnels, miners. Initially, the construction headquarters was located in Belaretsk, where visitors were received. In 1978, instead of narrow gauge railways, modern railway lines were built that connected the Transurals with Ufa and Central Russia. Trunk power lines and gas pipelines were laid across the reserve. Small settlements within the boundaries of the reserve. Isolated from the roads, grown on the pre- and post-revolutionary crossroads, were finally settled. In the village of Tatli, freight cars, convoys of equipment began to arrive at the Usha railway station, in the village of Inzer in Belaretsk. Materials There were no roads, they were built simultaneously with the deployment of construction. Kilometers of new clearings cut through the impenetrable taiga. The old ones were cleared. Construction sites were formed, Tatli and Usha station, then Belaretsk minus 15, now Mezagori Yugozapadny, were built up and settled. Serving as a point of reception and dispatch of goods and people, in central Ni, Belaretsk minus 16, purposeful housing construction began. Social and administrative institutions and infrastructure. According to a photograph of 1984, the town is already surrounded by a fence, like other closed cities of the Usar. Although, and historical information, this fact is not mentioned in any way. In October 1995, by a decree of the President of the Russian Federation, the village was transformed into the city of Myseria Bashkortostan. Now Mezogory appears on the maps. Since January 1, 1996, he has been assigned the status of a closed city. The underground complex in Yamantau is very interesting. In space imagery it occupies a large area. Shelesnogorsk complex Kresnoyest minus 26 withstanding the direct hit of a hydrogen bomb, and even less. Although it is equal in length to the Moscow metro in the tunnels. I think the Yamantau bunker is designed for a long, several tens of years, control of the country after a nuclear strike or riots. It is possible that the country's leadership will wait one, two weeks after the strike in the bunkers of the metro minus two near Moscow. Then, when the radiation background fades, Helicopter evacuation to Yamanta. Dear subscribers, write your opinion about the above and share the information in the comments if you have any about the object. And yet, please share this video on your social networks with a button under the clip. By distributing it, we will find witnesses and find out the truth.